Oh my god, that theme is so loud. <laughs> hey -o. Part 2. I know, I'm surprised too. I, uh... Really stopped giving a shit. <laughs> the first time, that first hour I played. I was just sort of like, okay, I guess. I don't know. Wasn't, uh... Wasn't super... I don't know. Whatever itch I had to scratch, I was just sort of like, oh my god, this is still going. And that was basically my, uh, my mentality. Um, I think I did go here. I'm nowhere close to being able to do online stuff. Although it does look like they carried over accessories into, um, uh, into Cyrus Loot OG, which is pretty cool. I'll have to figure out a way to get them. Yep, gotta go. Bye, Mire. Bye, bye. I got something. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still, I still want to play. I just, like, don't want to play that much. <laughs> I'm, I know, I know, like, that if I push through, the game gets better. Um, but boy, it is, uh, it's rough. You know what I was doing before this? I actually planned to start this, uh, probably maybe like half an hour ago. By the way, it is... 6 p.m. March 20... or March. Uh, May 23rd. Uh, I say this so that I can date this video if it ever comes out. Uh, I got my second vaccine yesterday. Now I'm really dating it. Um, the, if you're from the future, a few years in, ahead, it's from, um, the COVID-19 vaccine. I got the Pfizer, because people always seem to want to ask, even though who the fuck cares. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I keep equating it to, like, if I told someone I had a headache and I took some uh, headache pills, if someone was like, Aw, oh, no shit, really? What'd you, uh, what'd you get? Did you get Excedrin? Did you get Advil? Did you get Tylenol? I'm like, who the fuck cares? The headache's gone. That's all, I get. That's, that's all that matters. Uh, hold on. I think I messed up the G-Line. Oh, I see. Uh, why did you send me three messages at once? Cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but anyway, what I was doing before this is, um, I was looking at mods for XCOM 2 on PC. I, uh, <clears throat> I've played, I've platinumed XCOM 2. It's my rarest platinum. And, uh, I forgot that PC exists, because I'm just so used to PlayStation. And I realized that that meant that mod support would exist. And I was like, that seems pretty radical. Um, let me make sure this is up. Yeah, my audio could be a little higher. I keep, I, I adjust this, I swear, every video. And it just doesn't want to be loud. Is this the loudest it goes or the quietest it goes? I think that was the quietest it goes. How about now? Huh? Oh, you know what it is. This is my own fault. Hold on. Let's dial it back a bit. Okay. So the problem is that I keep aiming my microphone the wrong way. I know that sounds weird, but like I aim like the because the way my microphone is set up, I keep aiming to the top of it. And uh instead of like making it face forward towards me. Mostly so I don't have to fucking hunch over my back that much, but there must be a way to fix this, surely. But I'm gonna just let it go right now, because it also has a bad habit of unplugging itself, so I'll leave it be for now. This seems good. Um, oh, we got a little baby Bodom on. Uh, but yeah, so I was looking at mods for XCOM 2. Um, there's a lot of good stuff on there. I would love to do a playthrough of XCOM 2. I would not want to stream it because that would take forever. Um, but I also like recording would take forever. I would love to do it, but also like would be such a gigantic undertaking that I just don't want to. <laughs> it's just so much to, like having to do. Uh, let's see. Right, I guess I should start planning this stuff. Um, so there's the rock, paper, scissors thing. I have techniques turned off. I don't know when I'll turn them back on. I don't really see the value in keeping them on in the beginning. Just because it's so, uh, um, cause the attacks are all, like, the same. Or they're all, like, low-level ones. Also, uh, so we just turned the AC on in my apartment, which controls it for the entire building. Uh, which is just bad luck on my part. Um, 
but ever since the HVAC has been turned on, there's been this, like super loud like grinding noise. Um, I don't, I can't tell if it's coming from something outside or if it's coming from like inside my apartment or under my apartment. But anyway, um, it basically will sound like a turbine is spinning up, and I'm like, and then uh, you'll hear some grinding, which sounds like a fan grinding or something like that. Not a not a happy camper about it. Uh, it's it's not that often, thank God. It's like maybe once every like 15, 30 hour, or I guess 60 minutes. Um, and it only lasts for like 30 seconds. But uh, it's really bad at night, because you know when you're trying to sleep. It's just like super loud and obnoxious. Um, but uh, it's not too bad during the day, but you may hear it. It's kind of loud, it may pick up on the microphone. But there's nothing I can do about it. I submitted a maintenance request. We'll see how that goes. I'm like, hey, it's super loud. I think maybe we could do something about that because it's gonna be a long couple months. I'm not gonna be and I'm also not gonna like tell him like, oh, it's okay. You can just turn the AC off. It's like, no, obviously, AC is more important. But it's fine. Um, but yeah, I wanna play XCOM. I wanna I wanna play it on my PC, my souped up PC with mods and stuff like that. There's some cool stuff, just like UI changes that make the game better, like stuff that cuts down on the transitions and loading screens. There was other stuff where you can, like the customization stuff is a given, where it's like, okay, make all your soldiers look like stormtroopers. I'm like, all right, well, that sounds pretty badass. But it's like adding in custom weapons, custom voice packs, custom, uh, uh, like attachments and stuff like that. It just sounds really cool for a game like I really do enjoy. And I would probably be looking more into it but XCOM 2 doesn't hasn't dropped in price. <laughs> it's still $60. It's 100 for that and War of the Chosen, which is the big uh, expansion to it. So uh fuck that noise. I put it on the wish list and we'll see if uh, cuz it goes on sale, I feel like a fair amount, which is probably why they keep it at high price normally. And I'm kicking myself cuz I've seen it in humble bundles before and just been like, "Oh, well, who needs it? I have it on PS4." So <sighs> you know, just just dealing with that stuff. Um, trying to think of what else. What have I been doing? Um, I'm balancing a couple of games right now. I got really into video games for a little bit, which is fun. Um, like, I got really into Returnal. I haven't finished Platinuming it, because now the only trophies I have left are, like, RNG-based, which is never fun. Um, so, basically, you have to survey each of the six areas. Spoiler, the six areas in Returnal. Um, which means getting all of the uh, all of the glyphs, getting all of the um, all of the scout logs, getting all of the like uh, uh, the like weird I don't even know how to describe them uh, archive stuff. Um, the problem is that the it's randomly generated each time you go through and you're not guaranteed to get certain rooms which include these collectibles so it's kind of a pain in the ass and it's very annoying because some rooms are like way more rare than others and I'm like that's a really dumb way to make this and I had like two bad runs back to back and I was like alright I'm done with Returnal for now <laughs> so I stopped playing that then I got really into Resident Evil 8 um, I played through four times and I did my normal run I then did a collectible run uh, with a few other things like don't go to the stick shop, don't heal, uh, stuff like that, and you know, like I said, all the collectibles. Third run was a uh, speed run, just doing it under, 30, under, under three hours. I tried to do that um, on the second run, but I couldn't do it. I, I ended up taking too long because I was like dawdling and going for certain treasures I didn't need and stuff like that. And then, um, so that was... My third run, fourth run was hardest difficulty, which uh, wasn't too bad if you have, because you can basically unlock infinite ammo for any weapon in that game. And I got this super powered new game plus Magnum and uh, leveled it up uh, and got infinite ammo for it, and that took care of pretty much everyone. Uh, the only issues were there's a section where you can't use your weapons. Um, and you have to run through like the village and do a bunch of shit uh, towards the end of the game. That wasn't fun. Uh, there was a section where you have to fight a boss, but 
due to the mechanics of the way you fight the boss, you can't use your weapons until halfway through, and that fucking sucked because you were made of tissue paper. You only get hit three times. Um, but uh, yeah. Other than that, it wasn't too bad. I beat it without much too much issue. I think I beat it in a day. So the only trophies I've left for that game are knife knife only run, which I could do with uh the knife they give you for beating the game. But the other trophy I have is mercenaries, which is for getting an S rank in all eight of the like mercenaries mode uh challenges. I think I have uh and you but if you get an SS rank in all of them, um you become a Nazi. No. If you get an SS rank in all of them, you unlock basically a lightsaber. So I was like gonna do that for uh, the knives only run because I thought that would be pre pretty fun. Because I'm like if I if I'm gonna get S then SS isn't that hard, isn't that much harder to get. But uh, I've heard mercenary mode is pretty, it's actually pretty difficult. So I might take back that plan. Um, but uh, so I I did it for the first three areas. I haven't done the fourth one yet because basically I would like watch a video, kind of get an idea of where stuff was gonna be, and then I would go through. But, um, the, so there's like, uh, the first level has three areas, the second is two, I might be, I might be mixing that up, no, the first area has three areas, the second has four, maybe, three, maybe it's four or three, I don't know, regardless, second one has, and the third one is two, and then the fifth, fourth one has five levels, and I'm like, that's too many levels. And I'm just, like, not excited to start it. Um, but, yeah, since the, I've also heard the lightsaber isn't, like, a one-hit kill, like I assumed it would. I think it's the same strength as the other knife you get for beating the game. And I'm like, well, I might as well just do that then. I don't know. But um, I that's all in the PS5 version. I still want to play more of it because the game is really, really fun. So I think I might go for... Um, uh, there's the grinding noise. Um... So I think I might go for the PS4 version of the trophies. It was funny because I started the PS4 version and like there were loading screens. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this trash? And I realized that, uh, uh, I realized I didn't have loading screens the entire time I played on the PS5 version. And I'm watching a playthrough and like they're on Xbox One or Series X and they get loading screen, like very small loading screens. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I didn't sign up for this. So here's what I'm gonna do. We have Niaramon here, um, and we have Sunamon. I'm just gonna go random, look away, and then hit X. There we go. That's how I'm gonna try and do most of these decisions if I have like all of them unlocked. Just because I think it's more fun that way. Is Renamon in this game? She's not, is she? Well, this is Tailmon anyway. But I don't think Renamon is in this game. Maybe she is. I don't know. Cam, 10%. Cam, Cam. Oh, it's going to be Lunamon or wherever you are. All right, same deal. Another Coromon. Not what I would have picked, but here we are. Oh, the Cam is for having them in the bat in battle, so that's not too bad. I think I should swap out these two so that I get um the Cam for Carlos. Nothing for you yet. You're going to be level... Maybe at 20 for Hackmon. Let's just say you need to be level 9 is the highest. So we'll say level 9 before we try and... Un well, what's your ABI, actually? Uh, zero. How do I know what your max level is? Where is it listed again? Uh, I forget. Um, there's a way to check this, right? I didn't make that up. Oh, it's in the top left. Okay, so 9 is the max level. Okay. I'm also much closer to my screen than I would be normally playing this, so. Alright, Rex. Of course. What do you got? Max level 15. We got level 14, 18, 14, 14, 20. Oh my god. Uh, Alright. I think when we hit level 14. What's the intelligence? 35? Are you close to that? You're close to that, so. When I hit level 14, um, I'll do. I'll randomly try and go through that way. Uh, cool. Let's quickly... Change the party out. Uh, what's the button to do this again? How do I? How do I do this? Oh, there we go. 
So much of this game I've forgotten. What do I have to do next? Go back to Kyoko? Um, but yeah, that's that's what I've been up to. Oh, uh, I also started playing Ju uh, Judgment, the Yakuza spinoff that also recently got announced. It's going to have a sequel later this year. So I really want to get through that. From what I'm playing so far, it feels really good to play Yakuza like beat 'em up style again. Like I love the RPG style, but um, the you know the fighting type is really good too. I do really enjoy it. Um, it also looks gorgeous. I have the PS5 version. Um, yep, yep. It's me, old man. I think it's Date. Grim old man. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just keep going. Uh, Matayoshi, right. Boy, you know what would go great in this game? Just a fucking speed up button. If only we unlocked modding for this game. The first thing we should add was a speed up button. And then you know we can go ahead and replace certain Digimon with other Digimon. It's taking so long. Um, I'm really not paying attention anymore. I realize if I want to get through this game, I can't pay attention. That's just... It's just asking too much. Um... What was I going to say, though? Uh, so, yeah, I'm playing Judgment a little bit. Um, I kind of want to start up... Uh, there, were, uh, there was another game I wanted to play, and I can't remember it now. Ugh. He's really short. Or I'm really tall. <sighs> yep. 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 I had to turn my AC off for this, and it's like 95 out today. This may have been a bad idea. It's going to be a huge pain in the ass to uh, to cool down my apartment after this. Gather info in the hospital. Okay. But yeah, speaking of detective, that's what uh, you are in judgment. Play as uh, Yagami, who is a detective, and it's real fun so far. It's like kind of a cross between Ace Attorney and Yakuza, pretty much. Like, there's light elements of uh, uh, of detective stuff. Uh, like, it remind it's like you'll be in conversations, and it'll be like, and I can prove it, and you have to go through your evidence that you've gathered and stuff like that. It almost reminds me a little bit of Danganronpa, um, which is just Ace Attorney, <laughs> but, um, but I, um, but it's like, you're, so you're not the lawyer though, you're just a detective. So once it comes to like going into the courtroom, you have someone else who does all the shit for you. So, uh, yeah, that's why, uh, <laughs> Hey girl, have we met? I know the secret is just to give her sweets or give her food. Um, but yeah, I uh, I started playing um, Judgment and stuff like that. I got to chapter two. I'm enjoying it, but I hit I hit that like weird feeling. I don't know if anyone else gets this. It might just be me. But like, I um, you'll I'll like a game will like open up and it'll just tell you to progress, and I'll get like. I don't know, like, hesitant, or I'll be filled with, like, a kind of feeling of, like, I don't really want to keep playing this. Even though I like the game, it's just, like, there's too many options. I get that with RPGs all the time, where it's, like, where it's like I've absorbed too much. I've done too much in this game at once. And now I need to reset. <laughs> Ooh. And, uh, or I need to, like, play something else. That's why it's good to, like, if you're, if you're the kind of degenerate like me who plays multiple games at once. Always balance uh, an RPG with like an action game, because then you can kind of switch off between the two of them. I don't know. 
if that was where it's supposed to go. Um, I don't really know what else I'm playing. Oh, I got back into Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I finally beat the story up to 5. Point, I think it's 5.5. 5. 5. Uh, 5.55 5. actually launches um, on Tuesday. So I'll be excited. I finally watched the trailer for Endwalker. Holy shit, dude. I'm so fucking pumped. It looks so good. But also, in that trailer, like, the world is falling apart. And where I'm at in the story now, which, and there's only one or maybe two other story updates before the expansion, things aren't that dire. So I'm like, what the fuck happens on Tuesday? <laughs> Are they gonna just destroy the world? Um, but it's pretty rad. Do they have a map? Has there always been a map in these areas? I didn't know that. Where did Kyoko tell me to go? Oh, there we go. I assume this is what she wanted. Good thing no one saw that, I guess. Where are my boys? Okay. Um, but yeah, really enjoying it. Uh, 14 that is I have a couple other things I need to do still so like I'm also I think I, I don't know if I've explained this I'm going for the platinum for the PS5 version which uh, is basically beat the game uh, basically catch up with the story level someone up to level 80 which you have to do to catch the story uh, do 2000 dungeons which is kind of a big number I think I have like 1800 and I've been playing the game for like 8 years um do 3,000 fates, which are like quick little uh, kind of like overworld battles. Um, I have like 1,800, or I think I have, yeah, I think I have like 1,800 of those too. But you need 3,000 for those, which is insane. Um, that one's going to take me a little bit. You have to do 8,000 collectibles uh, from like a gathering class, like miner or botanist. And the reason why that's bullshit is that I've played miner a lot. But, like, gathering normal shit, like stuff you need for materials and whatnot. Not collectibles, which is like a mini game for Miner. And that upsets me. <laughs> because I have, like, 1,600 out of 8,000 for that one. Which is insane. It looks like that's, like, the platinum blocker for most people. There's another one that uh, creates 5,000 collectibles, which is a little easier. Because um, you can just, like, kind of spam them like, from anywhere, but with gathering, you have to, like, go to the area, grab a, you can grab, like, at most four at a time at each node, so it's insane. <sighs> but yeah, that's what I'm dealing with right now. Um, I, uh, uh, I have that. I have to do the latest 24-man raid, which is all the near stuff, which is super cool. The thing holding me back from that is, uh, it's a 24-man, so there's three parties. Each party has one tank, uh, two healers, and five DPS. I don't want to tank that. And tank is the only character I have up to level 80 right now. I don't want to tank a 24-man, because that's too much stress. Especially since it's not new. Like, when I did this originally, when I used to do the... Um, uh, when I used to do these uh, for like the original 24-mans, I would... There, a, there were two tanks per party at first. Oh. It me. I forgot it was a spooky ghosty. Um, but yeah, so when I originally did it, I was like, it was it was current. So like I would do the raid when it first came out. Nobody knew how to do it, so nobody could judge you for not knowing how to do it. <laughs> or at least nobody's saying good. And, uh, and now it's like months old. Maybe even like a year for the first one. And I don't have uh, the confidence to just like run into that. Yes, there are two other tanks in the raid, but like, I still feel weird. I'd still like to see the dungeon run from a DPS perspective at least once. So I have a DPS of uh, Black Mage, and I have them up to uh, uh, level 76. So I'm close. Once I get up to level 80, then I'll start running these. Um, but yeah, that's my plan. Basically, get a. I'm like slowly getting my Black Mage level 80. Um, because, uh, you know, you can't just level up. It's easy to level when you're doing the main story, because the main story quests give you a ton of XP. But leveling a second class is always harder, because. Uh, oh, yeah, who's that? That looks exactly like me. Uh, but, um. 
But uh, yeah, I um, I'll, I'm close. Basically, I'm getting like a level, level a day if I do them on all, all my like reroulettes and stuff. Um, so that is uh, the current plan. All right. Oh wait, I forgot what I forgot her dialogue. Hold on. This is extra weird when you realize this Crusader Mon. Crusader Mon, kind of a fucking pervert. Also, one of the only Digimon who just like goes back and forth on their gender. Is Crusader Mon a man or female? Who the fuck knows? Or both, or neither. What a gross character. She's like the female version of Slimy. Which I guess is still just Slimy. Why would you... They're automatic doors. Why would you hide up against them? How are you hiding up against them? I don't like the jiggle physics on Rie. It's weird. It's very weird. Uh. Oh. Boy, that's a loud one this time. One or two, or even three dozen. Okay, I would love to skip this. Imagine the Cyber Suit games, but with a pause and then skip button. Can technology truly go so far? My phone says no. Um, I can't go back now. Oh, this is the entrance? That's weird. Don't do that to me. Don't make this a temple runner. Also, in classic fashion, I've got no text in like six hours, but of course, now that I'm recording, I'm getting one. But Nick, why couldn't it just be that you're getting it because they didn't record? Or because you haven't gotten a text from six hours? Shut up. What do you know, nerd? You don't know anything. My girlfriend says, hi, just checking on you. Uh, I'm good. Slightly tired. Still, but overall, not the horror show people told me I would be. A lot of people said the second vaccine really knocked one on their ass, and um, I gotta be honest, it hasn't done that to me. Which is very lucky. Just, uh, pretty normal shit. I'm just gonna... Can I just... Is there... What's the auto? It's the switch control version. What button is that? Did it start? Oh, it's just start. It's being lazy now. I am so glad to hear that. Thanks. How's your... Sunday. Alright. Could not... Uh, I could just be lying about what I'm typing and it's actually just like... Yo, let me see that ass. <laughs> You'll never know. It, it could be either. It could be both. Um, what was I going to say? So, yeah. Almost caught up to Final Fantasy fourteen. I think... What, what other trophies do I have in that game? I think that's it. Dungeons, which shouldn't be too bad, because you can do them unsynced and basically just run through them, like, repeatedly. Um, plus there's, like, f you know, farming for certain mounts that are dropped from uh, certain bosses and stuff like that, so... I'm, I'm confident I'll get that one without really trying too hard. Fates is gonna suck. Uh, gathering sucks. Crafting's gonna suck. Basically, what I do is I queue for a dungeon, and then when I'm waiting for the dungeon for, for the other players to join, I just go and, like, uh, gather collectibles. So that seems to be my current plan. It seems to be working so far. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, 
Mixing between that, Judgment, um, I don't know if I'll go back to, I really want to go back to Resident Evil 8 because I don't want to like lose the muscle memory. Um, but also Mercenary Mode sucks and I don't want to play it. <laughs> so, so we're stuck. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, but, uh, I kind of feel like I need a new game, which is what Judgment's supposed to be. Judgment, I feel like every Yakuza game does this too. Where I'll start playing, and it's good, but, like, I'm not really, like, it doesn't have its hooks in me yet. And then I'll pick it up again, play some more, something will happen in the story or gameplay, and, like, I'll be fucking locked in. And I'm gonna try and avoid that this time. For once, I just want to get through a Yakuza in, like, one sitting. Although I think I did that with five. Maybe I did it with four, too. When I was trying to catch up. <sighs> Thanks, Nissan. Um, but yeah, I um, I don't know. I mean, I don't have to last that long. Like I said, I just have to. Um, I've got a new Final Fantasy update on Tuesday, and then um, in a month, actually not even. What is it? Two weeks? Three weeks? In like three weeks, the new Ratchet Clank comes out. That'll be a fun time. I have Subnautica Below Zero. It, it feels weird to say, but like I'm not really getting into it. Uh, I really liked Subnautica. Like, really, really liked Like, one of my favorite games. Um, but I forgot what it was like to be in one of these games and not know anything. <laughs> the reason I... I think I like Subnautica more on replay throughs. Um, like, playing it knowing where everything is is more fun to me. But uh, I'm still struggling to find shit. And uh, that's kind of like holding me back right now. <laughs> Thousand CSP. What's that for? Leveling up my like case rank or something? Did we just beat chapter two? No. We're still in chapter one. Also, I should make a backup save just in case that doesn't work out, but I like to play risky. Um, sure. Yep. Oh my god, please. Just, just please, just let me... Just let me live. Oh, we did get to chapter two. Search for the father, Yuko Yamashina. Hey, you got a Steam achievement. Gross. Why do I have another close? Oh! Oh, I don't remember that you being able to do that before. Did they add that in? But also, like, I only have two outfits. So who the fuck cares? I'm tempted to look that up. Hold on, let me look it up real quick. Also, my girlfriend. Obstensibly good, a balance of chilling, productive, my mental health is kind of crummy today. That's not good. Um, good at it's... Chill. Anything I can do to boost your mental morale other than, of course, reminding you how awesome you are and how special you are to me. All right, I picked up my phone for a reason. Uh, Cyber Sleuth Costumes. Guy, did you want story? Cyber Sleuth Clothing. Oh, that's weird. Uh, where to buy clothing? You can buy... The only place you can buy from clothing is from the first game. It's from a vendor in Shinjuku Downtown. You can get the hoodie shirt? That's great. Uh, hoodie... But you can't replace the pants. So you have these obnoxious... I guess it wouldn't be as bad on the girl, but it looked, you have your obnoxious yellow pants as the guy. Uh, so they have like all the shirts and stuff from uh, from the second game, which makes sense. But the shirt selection in the second game is kind of trash. Why wouldn't they give you more coats? The coat was the coolest outfit, and they just like, give you a bunch of t-shirts instead, and I hate it. Um, Shame you can't change the pants. A lot of these look awful next to the bright yellow. Lively in Japan tier. Definitely winners, though. Okay. All right. Well, I haven't unlocked them yet. Is basically what it comes down to. I also don't really have any money. Oh, right. 
figure out this is a thing. One new case. Top quality beans. There's a... So, I follow a lot of webcomics. I think I've talked about this before. There's one I call... Or I follow called Extraordinary Comics. And I actually subbed their Patreon because they released a Patreon-exclusive comic. Following a cat called Beans. And it is some of the most fucking cute shit I've ever seen. And I love it. She's also just really funny. Um, so... Yeah, I support artists. Like, you can too. <laughs> you, uh... Look in the description of this video. Or subscribe to me on YouTube, or become a YouTube Premium member. You too can be just like your old pal Hero Nick, who supports uh, independent artists. Do you want to support this art that I do? Well, I read out my mushy texts on screen and skip over the dialogue? Well then, the way is clear. Multiple options. Alright, let's get through this. Look, you're able to accept the case. Okay, yep. Get those fucking beans! Is it weird? I think the cat is cuter than me, right? Look at it! It's so good! It looks so good! We used the cats in Yakuza 6 and Yakuza uh, are in Judgment, which kind of look like trash. Like, their model's just not that good. And then you have the cats in Final Fantasy VII Remake, which are phenomenal. I'm just saying, Japan. There's more we can do with cats. Now scan physical things right glove, capture cyber data. Cyber data, in other words, once you... Once you can remember whether in your hand you can become cyber data and be brought into cyberspace. So is this the, like... Basically, the dumb way of saying, uh... Hey, this is... This canonically means why you're able to bring shit into cyberspace. Don't worry about it. Oh, whatever. Whatever it takes. Oh, look at it. Little scritches. It's so cute. I normally like black cats more, but this white cat's pretty cute. Alright. This bonus. Oh, right. All the bonus content. <laughs> Great. Okay. So, am I actually obtaining this stuff, or is it just. No, it's not. Oh, God. Damn, bonus content, training, recovery, and equipment sets, miracle meat, power pine. Oh, we got all this shit. Well, that's not too shabby. Did I get this when I played um, the original time? When I first played this game, did I get all this swag? Pen block reduces, or reduces penetrating damage. I don't think that really matters. Combo rates, it's, you know, it's whatever. Neutral damage minus 30, non-neutral damage, non-neutral attribute damage plus 5%. Did they nerf noise guard? Or is it saying my damage? What is this? How does this work? Is this... I don't know. I don't care. I guess we'll throw the cam USB on. Uh, <laughs> Omnimon, fucking chibi Omnimon. Oh boy. Fucking stoked. Actually, not very stoked at all. Not a big fan of uh, the Chibi Digimon. Oh my god. Oh, come on! Alright. I really don't like games that handhold you this hard. I really don't. And this game is very unique because it has the handholding, but it also has... Um, uh, stuff where like it, there's nothing to track your objective. If you're not in a case, I think if you're on a case, you can kind of get an idea, but it's just like both will not let you do things, and at the same time will say, uh, 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 you didn't, uh, you didn't do this part first. God forbid we give you any freedom. Also, let's talk about how you can't buy Digimon cards, um, from the card shop. Okay, we got Agumon Expert. Oh, we got Professor Agumon. Um, I know you. Oh. <laughs> I always forget about Nokia's theme. Also, Nokia's uh, chest texture is a little weird. Now, I know what you're going to say. Nick, why are you looking? But 
ever since I've played Final Fantasy XIV, where it's like the you know the graphics will be really crisp and like the FPS will be sixty, but the textures are trash sometimes. I'm like I have an eye for that now. Um, so it's just super weird. Um, it's also just like jagged. You can kind of see it. Don't judge me. It's fine. Uh, I might have pointed that out in part one actually. I'm gonna find a Rada too. Rada Rada. Was Nokia the only one I had to meet? I guess so. Like all these fake games they have. I'm like, you're Bandai Namco. You could have advertised real games here. Like, I don't know why you chose not to. Uh, we got Metal Man. Sure, man. What do you think of my collection so far? Don't tell my wife about this. I always forgot. Uh, when, how often do you give me prizes and shit? It's Professor Agumon. Who do we even have so far? I only have four. I have one point five. Oh, there's 700. Oh my god. Wasn't there 500 in the original? Does that mean they added the ones from uh, Hacker's Memory? Because that's kind of insane. That's pretty intense. Oh my god. Just let me live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll come back to that. I don't remember a good time to take on the Coliseum stuff, but uh, I'm sure it won't be too bad. Um, am I done? Oh my God! Why are you doing this to me, game? I think there's someone you still haven't met. Just how much for a guide arrow? Like how much? Also, look at the textures in the fucking bidding machines. Yikes! They look like they ripped them from Digimon World One. Uh, do I have to talk to Noki again? What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm getting a weird claustrophobic feeling. You know when sometimes you're like in an area in a game, and you have to find an object, but it's like a small area, and you have to keep running around, and you can't find it. I get that feeling right now. I don't normally get claustrophobic, like, at all. Um, but for some reason, this is doing it to me. Maybe because they won't let me fucking leave. And they're like, no! You didn't find it! What do you want from me? So they won't let me leave, but they're also like, oh, buy, buy coffee beans. That makes sense. Maybe it's because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Maybe it's because when I was like trying to leave, they were like, I haven't met anyone, and not, I should go buy coffee beans. <laughs> God damn it, game. Oh, I think I talked to Maid by accident. No, but thanks, I appreciate it, and your wonderfulness deeply. My own company is just heavy today. No, well, I don't know what to say to that. with a heart emoji. That's not that wasn't the whole text, but it's like that's how I ended it. Also, I'll say it. I don't think there's anything wrong where if you finish object an objective, if the game just like sends you back to where you started. I think in fact that is uh the sign of game gaming as a whole moving forward. Alright. Fucking there we go. Part of this is how insane I am. There's a part of me that's like, I should go and, uh, I should try and get a case for my Digimon. I should try and get the Black Agumon case now. Wait, what? What about my parents? I have parents? What? <laughs> that's, why is that weird to me? I did not remember this detail about this game. 
What the fuck? I had parents? How did I not remember this? Also, I think, like, there's an age discrepancy between, uh, the Cyber Sleuth Gang and the Hacker's Memory Gang. Because I think the Hacker's Memory guys are, like, you know, technically adults. I'm not sure I'll give you a try. Because I'm a good fucking friend. I know you plan to come over this weekend and stay home and rest. My mom's name is Yukino, and I have her on my phone as Yukino? That's insane. Uh, great, I can come over any time. <laughs> the fucking wink. It's great. Why does the female protagonist have so much more energy than the male protagonist? For what is supposed to be just like a character swap, how is she like so much more peppy? I don't understand. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I'm more like, why is the main protagonist not as peppy as this? Or, I'm just, he probably is. It's probably the exact same uh, options, to be honest. Oh, now where do you want me to go? I know there's someone yelling at their screen right now where it's like, Nick, if you didn't skip through every single piece of dialogue, you'd know where to go. And I'm like, you're not wrong, but... Uh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Yeah. Fucking got him. Did you ever come here trying to start shit again? I really do like the music in this game. I forget the name of the composer, and I feel really bad about that, but they're very talented. I still think the Danganronpa um, music is better, because it's more like bombastic, which is my jam, but there's some fucking bangers in the soundtrack, and also the ambient music's pretty good. hi -o. She sent me two hearts. Ah, oh, fuck. It's on now. I'm gonna have a heart war. I made a joke she didn't get the other day, which was I sent a bunch of different heart emojis and I sent like eight. And then she was like, oh my god, so many hearts. And I sent back, yeah, there's at least three. Just, <laughs> just like bad counting. And she was like, okay, well, there's definitely eight there. And I was like, alright, 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 I got it. Okay. Thanks, Arata. I was like half paying attention to that, but, you know, good to have you back, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. What are we doing, sorry, right now? Uh, are you the clothing shop? You sure are. Alright, I don't have that much money. And I can't fucking preview the shirts before I try them, which is awful. Who fucking signed off on this? This is trash. Um, okay, hold on. We need to find a shop. Wait, I might be able to do it here, actually. Let's sell. Okay. Can I sell some of the shit they gave me? For I can't sell farm goods. Why? Why did I think Miracle Meat was worth more? Um. Okay. What can I sell here? <laughs> but like, I some of this stuff I need. Okay. I'm not gonna use these. I never use the boosts. Uh. Nothing to like make me the money that I need. I guess I could sell these. But like, should I? I'll sell the pen block. All right. So let's uh. Let's see. I could buy my own shirt. Including the female one, which is weird. But, okay. Um, let's go with... The... Hootie shirt. For our Hacker's Memory representation. And then, we'll, and then we'll buy the male shirt, just to... Fucking mix things up like the crazy person I am. Um, I'll come back for more of those. Are there other things I could have spent my money on? Yeah. Was I going to? No. Uh, this is the um, this is the area where they have the case with the the dude with the Lilamon who wants to fuck him, and he's like, "I'm gay." It's like, that was pretty good. Probably one of my favorite quests in this, uh, this series. Ooh, Arcadiamon. That's not a real Digimon. That'll never come up. Um, all right. I think that's all I had to do. Oh my god. Fuck off. You know what you did, game. I ran all over it. I couldn't find a single person with a fucking exclamation point above their name. And so many people I can't talk about or talk to. Uh, this is so much fun. This is the best part of the Cyber Sleuth games. 
Unless they want me to go to Eden, but that seems like madness. Oh, there they are. Perfectly fucking hidden. Oh, I remember these guys. They're not really in, a. Uh, uh, they're not really in the second game, are they? Oh, I forgot these two. Wait a minute, yeah. There was like a bunch of side stories of these two. I like completely forgot about them. I have like a best friend. I forgot the, how weird this was. I don't know what happened there. They're setting up uh, Jimmy Ken, a.k.a. one of the best characters in this game. Now, you may be thinking, Nick, when I first watched your Cyber Sleuth playthrough, you fucking hated Jimmy Ken. I'm like, well, you know, time makes fools of us all. It just took me some time to understand his brilliance. Japanese also better see right away. They're great. All right, first check out the album just released. The last song is Killer. Didn't even tell me the album. You're a terrible friend, Nokia. Man, a lot of uh, not Digimoning in this Digimon game. Oh, can I go here now? Yes. Okay, let's put away. Uh... I'll talk to her to get the rest of the Digimon later when I have more Digi memory, just so it doesn't take forever. Um, I like. You know, I don't even think I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna use them. So like. Who cares, right? I'm gonna load Rex. We're gonna load Omni <laughs> straight to level 15. Now you may be thinking, Nick, that's so much wasted XP. Look at how much he's worth. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's true. It'd be crazy to do that. Just crazy enough to work. I really don't care. Uh, I will make more Digimon, though, so we can start filling up our farm. Um, that's important to me. I want to start getting the farm stuff. Plus, you know, having different Digimon to use and whatnot. Yeah, I really shouldn't convert them right away. I should wait until they have 200%. But, since I'm here and since I need more, uh, let's move you to the farm. You to the farm. You to the farm. You to the farm. Okay. Um, let's see. So we have my party Digimon. So let's. How do the? Okay, never mind. I read something wrong. All right, we can either get. I think that's Clockmon, Gargamon, or Tortamon. We'll see which I get. If I even manage to get one. Oh, we got Cannon. We got Gargamon. Hell yeah, dude. Cool. Our first champion. I'm not going to be able to carry th uh, four Digimon soon. Uh, what do you take? I guess I could turn to Drachmon now if I wanted to. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Yeah, I need your cam to be up. But beyond that, you should just need to have to get to level 8. What is your cam now? 7%? That's not bad. You'll be able to get that soon. Um, yep, we just need level 9, you're level 7. Okay, it's not too bad. Can I unlock any dungeons yet? Oh, I have two. I remember this was, like, mostly useless in Cyber Sleuth because you don't unlock the other dungeons for so long because they're only put there once you have no, no more cases that'll take you to those dungeons, and they reuse the, them so often for, like, optional cases that it's just, like... Uh, it takes forever to actually get them in there. Other than story events, which are, like, one time only, but even then, those are only, like, I don't know, like, you don't get the first one until, like, chapter 10 or, like, 8. I think it's under zero is the first one. I am not going to tell these guys to, well, first of all, let's, can I feed them? What am I going to feed them? Uh... So I, I guess, oh right, Digimi's a thing. Um, the controls show the Switch version, which is messing with me. How are they already level 4? 
That's insane. <laughs> what is the XP like here? Alright, I'm gonna favor these two. I forgot they could just reject it sometimes. What I should have done is put Carlos in here, and then I could have uh, changed his, uh, his feet up. Big Cam and ABI up. I kind of feel like I should do this with Hagerumon now. That'll increase his max level too, right? I mean, whatever. We'll just leave that for now. Uh, command. Could I have them make items. I'm going to have them investigate for now. I have a feeling I'm going to want them to... Uh, uh, I have a feeling I'm going to want optional cases soon. It'll be good for uh, leveling in the beginning. Because I'm not really going to leave the game running. Which is what I used to do with the, um, the Digi Farm. Because it's on a PC, which is slightly more annoying. Um, I guess I'm done. No, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it looks like you're fine to walk the streets and just do a quick, like, victory pose. I'm like, that's this is a serious situation. You are not taking this part, like, you are not reacting more properly. Is it snack time? Oh, god, the coffee. <laughs> I wonder who this is going to be. How many shy people have we met in this game? Oh, wow, it's one of the three characters we met. It's crazy. Who'd have thought? We're besties. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, right. She has the fake last name at this point. Because she thinks we're fucking idiots. Hey, let me go to the detective's office, tell them to investigate something, and also use a fake name. Fucking dummy. It's like, oh wow, I can't believe these detectives figured out my real name. Crazy. <laughs> no contact info. Crazy. I wonder how this will work out. Alright, when they give me control back, I'm gonna change the outfits and then I'm gonna save and call it quits for the day. Uh-huh. Yep. I kind of wish they had next order on PC. That'd be pretty rad. What do we have, my friends? Yo, you're pretty free these days. Let's go hang out somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's go. You free now, Jimmy Kim's gonna waste some exclusive merchandise. Let's get on it. Huh? What do I have to register for? Nobody said anything about registering. <sighs> the translations in this. Okay, we have the hoodie t-shirt and the male t-shirt, which is not that different. It's just reversed colors. Okay. The hoodie t-shirt, I'll rock that for a little bit. Does not match the outfit, but we got to represent hoodie. Um, and that's it. I'm going to call it for the uh, for the day. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Again, I don't know what my plan for this is, uh, if I'll ever release it. Um... My current plan with this, or my original plan was, let me record the entire series, and then I'll edit them all, and release them to Patreon, and supporters, uh, and YouTube supporters, so they can watch the entire series at once, and then, uh, yeah, thanks, it's a really good timing on the grinding, thank you, I really appreciate it. We good? Okay. Nope. Okay. <laughs> um... So my plan originally was to uh, to release the whole series. I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. Uh, I think I still like the idea of it, but it's quickly approaching my um, my nine-year anniversary. What I think I'm going to do is a countdown to my anniversary is try and do, like, Digimon videos for, like, 30 days before my, um, uh, my anniversary. So starting on what would be June 17th, I'll just do, like, you know... Seven di different Digimon games a week, or I'll just do like a bunch of Digimon videos and like rotate between them. I think it'll be a fun like celebration. Also, who knows? Maybe my fucking views will come back. Maybe we'll, people will be like, "Oh, Digimon, that's right." Despite him giving the exact same content in every bit and every series he makes, I only watch the Digimon content. I don't know why. I think I'm just a fucking idiot. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I love all the people who watch me. Oh, that's great. Seriously though, if you only watch Digimon, why? Can I? Why? 
Do, do you are you only interested in Digimon? You should expand your horizons. You should watch other games. It could be fun. Uh, not to say that you know people only watching Digimon is killing my love of Digimon, but you know, I'm not saying that. I'm implying it, but I'm not saying. I'm just kidding. I don't care. Like I said, I'm gonna play whatever I want, regardless. And I happen to want to play Digimon right now. So if you're the kind who only wants, watches Digimon, fucking great news for you. Here we are. Um, so we'll see. I'm kind of sussing out that plan. I may or may not do that because that would require a lot more effort than I'm currently putting in. And I've only got, well, I've got like a month to put that together. That wouldn't be too bad. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Or I won't. Who knows? Ooh, spooky.